What's going on guys? Cody Fire TV bringing another video and today we are talking about options that you have with the Fire TV and Android device and since this was highlighted if you have not checked out our video on the background apps and process list go ahead I'll link it up here and do so it'll help you uh, you know kind of speed up your Fire TV device or Android device so let's get right to it um, there have it's been a while since we kind of posted uh, stuff about you know the Cody and our Cody build we stopped actually um, you know changing it updating it or what how we want to uh, say it but um, just due to the fact that the contents it's there but it just became very um, tedious to kind of keep going and it got to the point where it got really sluggish things went down really quick and so on so Today I want to talk about what other options do you have outside of Kodi that are popular. And for example, right now, you know, we have Cyberflix here, which if you click on it, it kind of, um, it's one, one of the apps that have been around for a while. It updates quite frequently. It works pretty good, very well, I should say, you know, everything you get added on here. Some of the new stuff from the Disney Plus uh, streaming service are available on here as well and this is one of the apps and my other app that I go to is Cinema HD and that's version 2 as indicated on there uh, they both are very similar similar um, layouts and this does have a little bit more options I guess as far as the user interface and you can tie in certain services I think um, let me see what it has here you can enable uh, certain settings, I should say, which mark. Oh, I, I believe it's a tract. Yeah, so the, the tract on here, and that way, of course, tract.tv tracks all your stuff and what you've watched and whatnot. But as of late, I think the favorite go to has been Plex. Uh, it's a free course. What Plex is kind of like Cody, it allows you to sync your home network or a. Uh, that does not necessarily have to be a home network but say you have videos movies and so on you click here and then you kind of sync it to that information but what I have done I've done a video in the past on this but since it's been a while I want people to kind of stay up to date you can kind of uh, try different things and what I've done I've, you go on reddit and on the subreddit Plex shares there are some very nice people that share their networks and this is everything that they have some are paid some are not but you can have options like I said also outside of Cody and I have a few servers on here that I've been uh, more than thankful for the people that have offered them to me and they have tons of content on there for free so if you're one of those lucky ones you can go on the reddit.com forward slash you know r forward slash plex shares and submit a request on one of the free ones hopefully you can get it and it's one great way to watch more content uh, again like I said it's getting to the point where I had to kind of see what else was outside of Cody and uh, what do you call it to kind of stay quote-unquote cutting the cord and besides that those three, those are my three go-to as you can see. They keep popping up on my recents. I use them a lot. Of course, you can watch stuff on YouTube, um, whatever content you have on there. But depending on as far as movies and TV shows, there are quite a few out there. And I believe they're kind of similar. But those three have been my go-to. Uh, let me kind of skim through here as far as anything else I have. Of course, uh, it's got Disney Plus through a friend. I would not get it. Uh, Zion, TV Zion, I believe, is another one. It's going to update, but again, I use Cyberflix and um, yeah, I have to update. I'm not going to do that right now. Cyberflix, the Cinema HD, and again, the Plex, Plex TV with uh, you know your shared uh, networks if you can on the Reddit.com subreddit shares so I just wanted to give you some options of things that are out there outside of Cody you know just to kind of get a feel of what else is out there 
besides Cody and waiting for builds to update. I know it's been quite a while since we updated our own content on that Cody Fire build, but um, maybe down the road, hopefully, maybe next year, I guess, since we're not that far away from 2020, we can kind of uh, see what else is out there to start the new year off fresh. But again, give yourself some options. You know, we have a lot of things here. There's a lot of great stuff here on the file link networks one of the sources that i use that i've saw or that i have seen on uh online is file linked and it's one place to get a lot of uh content if it does come up if not i don't know why it's slow sluggish so there it goes network's kind of slow here but um you type in well this is our first off this is our code here to our uh file link but it only has installs for a few of the IPTV apps that are out there you're more than welcome to click on it and kind of see but for now let's talk about this other one 222 222 222 you click on it continue it's going to ask you for a password and at the or they disable that feature and then again before anything else be sure you download um, MX Player Pro it comes in handy. And again, there's a lot of stuff on here. Cody, Movie, Cinema Plus, Cyberflix, Nova. So take your pick, see what works for you, what you like, and so on. But those are all the options that you have, you know, outside of Cody to kind of stay cutting the cord and streaming your content. Let us know in the comments down below what you like to use. Share some of your favorites. Like our video, subscribe to our channel, down the links or the comment section, I will add some more links to our new link tree, which has everything on there of all our websites and so on. So guys, until next time, happy streaming.